Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, today we are reviewing Amsterdam. Amsterdam is a new movie directed by David O. Russell and it does star Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, John David Washington, Robert De Niro, Taylor Swift, the list goes on and on. Rami Malek, Anna Taylor-Joy, Chris Rock, there's so many stars in this movie. David O. Russell in the past has directed movies like American Hustle, which is a film I've never seen all the way through. I've seen bits of it. It wasn't really my cup of tea, but it, that also did star Christian Bale as well. The basic premise of this movie is it's kind of like, I don't know if it's a true story, but it's set based on true events. Um, it's really interesting film. Basically, Christian Bale and John David Washington, they are like soldiers in the war. I think it's the First World War at that time. They basically meet during the war, but then they also get like, you know, um, I guess bombed and um, their face gets like attacked and, and, and dismantled and disfigured and all that and they basically go to the hospital and then they meet Margot Robbie's character who is basically like a nurse who's trying to like reconstruct them and that's basically then what Christian Bale's character does then back in New York after the war he is there then you know making uh, war veterans like cover up their like you know their their ma not their masks but like their like war injuries to make them more society appropriate because society doesn't accept them for who they are with their injuries their scars they're just not accepted so it's a really like sad story from that point of view but also really interesting at the same time Christian Bale, for me, steals the show from an actor's point of view. John David Washington did okay as well. Margot Robbie as well. But I thought Christian Bale did really, really good in this movie. Um, actually, watching the film, I actually read an article about it in the other week that, you know, he's lost, I think, five or six roles to Leonardo DiCaprio. So I felt a bit sorry for him, you know. Like, I was interested to know what roles he did, you know, lose out to, um, you know, on him. Because I think Christian Bale is a really underrated actor, in my opinion. Like, nobody really talks about him in the same way that they talk about Leo and, like, Brad Pitt and all that, you know. Christian Bale, for me, is very... Very, very good. But Amsterdam then, what is this movie about? The movie itself is all about them, Christian Bale's character and John David Washington. They basically witness a death, like a murder. Um, it's actually, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say who it is, but it's, it's pretty shocking. I didn't expect it. They witness a death, they witness a murder, and then they're framed for this murder. So they're trying to actually clear their name, and then enlisting that, they get the help from Robert De Niro. It does get quite political. It does get very, like, German and, like, Nazi-like, I guess, in that sense. It is, you know, it is what... what, what what it doesn't link to that at one point it wasn't linking and i thought oh is this like not a true story is there a true story and then it kind of did link to stuff at the end which i was thankful for i guess but how how do i think about this as a movie what what do i think about it it was good but i feel like for me it was a one-time watch i don't think this is going to be a film that many people are going to want to like own in their collection and then re-watch you know once every couple of months i feel like it's worth seeing it's very good from that point of view but in my opinion it's not worth you know investing in buying and then re-watching and all that there's certain films that you think i think you need to like give another chance but i feel like with this movie i've seen it i'm glad i saw it it was an element of the movie that I thought it was a bit too long. Um, I think according to Letterboxd it is 134 minutes and that did feel really, really long to me watching the movie. I felt like it could have been a little bit shorter, maybe 20 minutes shorter, 15 minutes shorter. It just seemed to be a bit of a drag fest in between. Um, as I say, the actual look of the movie was great. Like all the costumes and everything were fantastic. So can't fault any of that. But rating the movie on Letterboxd, I did rate this a three star out of five. It's one of those films, like I said, won't be watching here again but I am glad I saw it the performances I thought were really really good um, I wasn't going to see this film Hannah really wanted me to see this so it's one of those um, for me it was okay three star I think in large parts a lot of people will enjoy this movie but at the same time I can also see why people will just not watch this as much, much more than once or twice you know what I mean it is one of those films definitely a one time watch worth seeing Christian Bale did a great performance and you know if this came out closer to awards season I probably would have said Christian Bale and all that could have been up for awards because you know I thought he was really good in this film Christian Bale and and um, I think he stole the show for me as, as, I, as you can tell <laughs> so there it is guys there is my review of Amsterdam let me know your thoughts down below have you seen Amsterdam? Are you going to see it? Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.